Hey folks, Xavier Thorne here. We are back on AfroNinja.com. We are going to be playing Escape from 1428 Elm Street. And this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Now this is not one of the official Afro Ninja Escape Series Escape games. This was the first Flash game that Sean Tanner, a.k.a. the Afro Ninja, ever made. No, oh, and he said that, you know, as you can see from this little picture, that the graphics are pretty subpar. He spent most of the time working and trying to figure out the code. Alright, this is just gonna... It's a little tutorial for us. And Tatsu is still here because we just finished all the post-commentary for the DBZ games. And we're Thanks. celebrating yeah. by doing, you know, some fun things with live commentary. Alright, uh, you know, this is just telling you, you know, basic point and click stuff, you know. Get your inventory. It's all it's all good. <laughs> this is all you need to know. Now get out of here before I kill you. Yeah, yeah, you got it, buddy. <laughs> Alright, so let's uh, let's hit play. Let's get into it. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Let, let's uh before we enter our name here, yeah, I'm sorry, you get to see my volume mixer here. I'm going to turn down quite a bit the volume for my web browser. Really hurt. Um might want to go down to twenty. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry folks. I, I often forget to do that before I start flash games. Please enter your name. Oh look at that font. That, that's a nice looking font. I, I like it. We got Xavier Thorne, oh yeah, we get to escape. I, I don't know, my, my real birth date is kind of personal information. I, I don't feel like giving that. So let's just go to the little Windows calendar. All right, it is July 4th right now. Happy Independence Day for you Americans out there. Yay! So we're just going to put July 4th. And let's see. Anyone got a suggestion for the year? Anyone? Random year? Uh, Tatsu's uh, looking at the stream chat, see if they say anything. I'm waiting, but I'm not getting anything yet. Well, you could give me a suggestion, I'll just use that. <laughs> I like that one, 666. Alright, and we were born in the year 666. There you go. You live on Elm Street, home of the infamous Freddy Krueger house. Through the years, you've heard stories of what has taken place there. But none of it has ever been confirmed. One day, while driving to school, your friends dare you to go inside. What could possibly happen, you wonder to yourself. You don't believe in urban legends. Now do you? Go! Alright. I'm not sure, can I? Yeah, I can click, good. Okay, we've got a hammer here. We've got a board. Lift the plank. Yes, we have a skull. Alright, there we go. Yeah, yes, yeah, skull! Inside a skull is inscribed with blood that reads. I should probably write this down, so I'm going to... We have to do math. Oh, don't worry, folks. I have a calculator for the math. Oh, wait, no, we don't have to do math. Not really. No, um, like... but... Okay, the answer is 3 times 4, 7 minus 6, 8 plus 7. I think the first time I went through this, I screwed that up. And accidentally did 8 minus 7. And where did my pen go? I had it here. Oh, it's under the notebook now. Wonderful. So it's right clicking, apparently. So 12, 1, 15. I'll just go write that down real quick. Some nice commas between them. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. That took too long to do. Alright, let's try to go through this door. Use the um, let's board it up. This item, okay, the item has no use here. Okay. Do, 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 and it looks like there's blood on the table. There's a bloody, we got a bloody knife. Yay! And a piece of paper. Jesse's note. That son of a bitch named Fred was crazy. He haunted my dreams. Made me thought of sleep. Terrifying. He nearly killed me. But I got the best of him. I found that using any kind of blessed or or holy or blessed water seemed to destroy him. At least that's what it seemed. Yes, see. Door is locked. Okay. Well, I'm 
There are two endings to this game. I'll try to get them both. Let's click this light. Yeah, that's right. We can click the light. Um. Okay. An amateur picture signed by Spencer. Uh, I'm sure that has some significance, but I don't know it. Okay, there's the shed. It is locked. So let's go upstairs. See you in hell. Yeah, all right. Alrighty then. That's uh, sounds promising. That door I guess we is locked. That, we? So I guess we're gonna have to go this way. Hey, look at a hat, a dirty old hat. It's a fedora. Not to be. Hey, look, a joint. It says, <laughs> no, wait, weed. All right, it's not gonna call it a joint. It's just gonna say weed. All right, fine. Be that way. Picky little bastards. Let's go to the bathroom. People in the chat, if they were here, they'd appreciate that one. Oh, look at that. We hit the faucet and blood in the showers. Um, it won't budge. That's why we have a hammer. Yeah, okay, so apparently all we have to do is hit, click the item, and it'll do that. Okay, a special box. Um. Twelve was the first answer. Times. Okay, yeah, this part, I, I don't understand what's up with those. But let's see if this works. Just the 12, fif 1, 15. Nothing happened. Shit. Don't tell me you have to put it in different orders, do you? Uh, let's try 16. Oh, wait a minute. Multiplication, addition. Okay, wait a minute. Let's try this. 15, 12. Okay, okay, yeah, so the symbols under it were the clue to which answers to use. So, the one was useless. And we got a basement key. And right here, obviously, that's poison. We don't need it. They're not going to let us take it. And now the sink is running. Let's flush the toilet. <laughs> Wonderful. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Graphics may be so far, but you have to admit, the blood is very entertaining. Okay, uh, right here. Click. Basement's open now. Um. Oh, there you go. Cut the rope with the bloody knife. And there you go, we have that. Yay! Yeah. So now what can we do? Oh, look! An old glove. Seemingly fitted with... Yeah. It says razors, alright. Let's throw this switch. So I'm probably doing things way out of order. Alright, there we go. Okay, so we have pull the rope opposite room right left middle. Okay. I'm guessing opposite room is just a distractor. So no, nope, pull the room. No, nope, pull the uh no watch, just pull the rope, then we go to the opposite room, hit the thing on the right, come back to this room, hit the thing on the left, go back to the other room, hit the thing in the middle. No, that's not. It's a little puzzle there. See, opposite room. So, right. It's opposite too late in my mind to comprehend puzzles. Middle. Then, opposite room, left. Okay, we got books here. We got this stuff. <laughs> oh, Nightmare on Elm Street NES game. <laughs> I'm down. A newspaper clipping. There you go. Local teen found dead. Boyfriend suspect. Teenage girl was discovered dead at home. Her body mutilated her boyfriend. The only other person with her claimed that a supernatural force had done it. Uh, authorities. Man, that's where it cuts off. Okay, so yeah, the only books you can read are the red ones with the yellow dots on them. Now we go okay. back over here. What is it? I right, know we just have to... Oh, wait. Seems I screwed it up. It was left, right, left, then middle. Okay, I screwed up the order. Sorry about that, folks. So let's just... Oh, damn it. Okay. Okay. Pull the rope. That's about... Okay, that's all the time we have for this video. I was hoping to get more done, but I didn't see you 
in the next